I'm in front of the warehouse, 206 South Jefferson Street. Warehouse music, appropriately enough, was born. I think we have to put house music in context. In July of 79, a loudmouth Chicago radio DJ did a stunt at Comiskey Park called the Disco Demolition. There's been some revisionist history about that event lately, that it wasn't racist or homophobic. But if you look at the video, what was the rallying cry? Disco sucks. How much more homophobic can you get? <laughs> Meanwhile, this club had opened in 1977. Its heyday was only a few short years. House music happened at other places around Chicago. What was it? It was essentially disco continuing, but with some added elements. Electronic synthesizers and drum machines coming to the fore, a lot more psychedelic vibe, and a heavy, heavy gospel influence that came, of course, from the Chicago church. We're gonna highlight some artists on my blog from house music in Chicago. Felix to House Cat, Ron Hardy, Steve Sill Curley, Kashmir, Dajay. But top of the list is Frankie Knuckles. Frankie Knuckles was a giant. We lost him in 2014. The rare musician the city has honored with one of those phony street names. <laughs> the irony being that at the heyday of house music when he's doing his best work, he could go to Europe and play to 10,000 people at a festival and come to Chicago and fill the warehouse, which as you can see, looms much larger in legend than in reality. One of my favorite stories about the warehouse, uh, it, it didn't serve alcohol, but there were slices of orange that may or may not have been peppered with a psychedelic substance if you chose to partake. At the height of the evening, Frankie would turn off all the lights in this building, and the windows were painted black, and play at the top volume, Kraftwerk's Trans Europe Express. Trans Europe Express. And people would freak out and lose their minds because it sounded like the train was coming right through the middle of the club. In the gay world, in the black world, in the Latino world. These were people who did not fit in. Uh, there were not quote unquote legitimate high profile clubs for them to party. They came to places like this warehouse. It was a music of defiance. It was a music of revolution. It was a music of celebration. Here we are, we won't be ignored. Society may not give us our due, but we will claim it for ourselves. You begin to have the birth of techno in Detroit, not long after house in Chicago. But house music traveled from places like this around the world. In Britain, they'd put their own stamp on it, call it Acid House. It's alive and well today. The thought that 50,000 kids can fill Soldier Field for an electronic dance music EDM party, you know, it's all the same. It's dance music, it's celebratory music for misfits who don't fit in. And it really all started here with Frankie Knuckles at the warehouse.